This is my Palomino mare. Ed's platinum blonde. I call her Blondie. I'm Ed. Uh, we've been working, we were working in the courtyard area. Uh, I'm working with her, getting her to drop her head like that and uh, move out a little bit. So I'm gonna try to get her to do it here. And it's harder when they're out here. See, she's raising her head, so I'm, I'm lifting up on their reins a little bit here. Just a little bit. And I'm gonna wait for her to drop her head. This is a calming thing. Like that, good. So. Shows like when it there, her thoughts came back to me. See, so she's getting a little bit racy here. Good, and I'm also working on her, her one rein stop and flexing her as well. There, all right, here we go. Pick up a little bit, put a little bit of leg on her. There, release. Good. See, we're, Eric and I were talking, and he's just, he said, really try everything I do with her right now. It's like whew, calming exercises, like where it brings her calm. There, whew, good. That's good how she's doing that right there. She's looking at that way. Now lift it up a little bit, put a little leg on her. Good, release. All right, lift up. Put a leg on her. There, release. Yeah, good. Good. She did it longer that time. She did about three, three or four strides that time. So, there we go. Pick up her ring. Here, here. Flex your head over. There you go. Good. See how she's keeping it there? That's good. And I'm not even holding it there. She's keeping it there. Okay, until I laid the reins down. He said then she should bring it back up. Here we go. Try it again here. Flex her to the left here. Here. I'm gonna put the reins down. Let her bring her head back. Okay, good. All right, let's see about moving off, girl. I'm lift up on him a little bit. I'm not trying to crease the pressure, just lifting, holding it. Keep walking. See how she's... She's raising her head still. Gonna outlast her. There, she dropped. So released. Lift up again. She's gonna hold on to it, I'm not increasing it. There, she lowered it, so I let go. There. Okay. There we go. Good girl. Some of this too, like Eric was saying, some could just be energy she has, you know. You know, so some are, horses are just more energetic, but she still, this is really helping her to a uh, couple things to, I'm trying to separate the reins from meaning motion. So I'm trying to get her to flex without, without moving like that. She was like, see how she moved there? She's associating it with, she's associating it with movement. And I just got to, I got to be able to, separate it so that there you go she's gr she's grouping too many things with that motion you know with the pulling on the rain or lifting on the rain 
So if I can get her to separate this, and then when I'm, see what I'm doing is I'm sitting in a very passive body position. So I'm not saying move, you know, uh, I'm not saying move. So what I gotta do then is then train the movement with my body, which I've been doing. And then when you put those two together, you can get more, more movements. You know what I'm trying to say? So um, here we go. I'm gonna get her to flex. See, see, she's she's associating that with this with the flexing with move like she needs to move. So I got to get that, and she's been doing that quite a while, you know. I mean, and uh, so I'm getting gonna get pickier with this and just get her to. You no, know, see, she moved off. So I'm not gonna I'm not gonna release it until she stops, and then I'm gonna try to flex her again. See how, she's, see how she's pulling on it? There, now she gave, good. I'll try it again here, nope. See, so this side right now is, is one that she's, she's associating with moving. So I'm just gonna hold on to that. So waiting for her to, waiting for her to stop. There, good. Now I'm gonna go this, go this way here. Try this side. This side. Yesterday, this side, the right side was the side that she was. Oh, well, maybe not. I'm trying to think which side it was. I think it was the left side. She was wanting to move. So, just like she is today. So, got to. I've got to get her to separate this. Nope. And the whole re thing about relaxing, you know. You can get a horse to, just like any athlete, if you can do something in a relaxed state, you, you know, it's just easier on your muscles and your mind and everything. So that's the whole point, trying to get her, get her to that point here. See, she's not paying attention now. I haven't stopped because she, she didn't give me that little bit extra, you know, she's just, Tell their mind was thinking, so I'm just gonna give her a little bump, like, hey, remember I'm over here? See, she still hasn't done it. There, she did there. So now I'm gonna try this side here. Okay, I don't know what you see over there, girl. Yeah, get her to flex this side. There we go. Come on. See, this is there. This is one of the. When I get this worked out, this will be a big thing with her. I think. There we go. Good. Good. And then if I can build in that, when I lift up the reins, she drops her head. That's a calming thing. That's going to really help her a lot. Uh, one of the things we were doing when she was, we, Eric and I were talking. She was just standing there. Is, she lifted her head up and she started doing the rolling the cricket a lot. See, she's not rolling the cricket right now, but she was rolling the cricket like, creak, 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 creak. And he said, lift up on the reins and get her to lower her head and silence or quiet that cricket down a little bit. So I was doing that with her. And when she'd lower her head, she'd quiet it down. And then when she'd bring her head up, she'd be, you know, like nervous energy, right? So it's really interesting, all this stuff with horses. Um, but I like how she's just pretty chill about standing here right now. So we're already making some progress with this. Um, gosh, it's a beautiful day today. It's just an absolute beautiful day today. We, uh, I've got, I'm excited. I've got, I've got, a, I've got a few horses I'm gonna be working with. Um, you've already seen some of them, like uh, uh, that uh, that uh, black colt uh, that I call Junior, that big guy. I also call him Moose because he's so big. Uh, he just, um, I'm going to be working with him. And then I've got uh, this, other, this other real nice colt. We just had Gal the Goose. Work, uh, you've seen some videos on him. 
and then uh, and then uh, hole in one who's the other guy that I've been working with I'm really excited about him I'm gonna try to keep doing him up to a high level that's my goal here with, with him oops and uh, try to get him to a high level and take myself to that same level I've not gone that high you know Eric has uh, so he's going to be coaching me and helping me through that process and you guys can be able to follow it follow that and uh, you know just follow the playlists and uh, but uh, yeah, see how she, she kind of wants to she wants to head back to the right there um, and then I've got another one at number two I think I'm going to work with he's uh, Ed's handsome lad he's a he's a great he's another great Cold, but he's a gelding now. We, we had we had a bunch of horses gelded last week, and so I'm excited to work with them and see how they do. Keep getting better at this, you know. <laughs> see how she's she's. Uh, I don't know if you can tell, but the reins. I mean, I got them loose. They're just flapping. It does look different in the. When I watch the videos, because this camera, this GoPro, is kind of like a fisheye lens, and um, it uh, it makes it makes my hand motions look a lot more exaggerated than they are, and it also makes it look like the whoa, like the reins are tighter, you know, than they are, than they are too. It distorts that because I. Because when I watch, I go, gosh, I didn't think I was that tight, you know. Or my hands were moving that much, but, whoa. That's the kind of thing, got to shut her down. So this is, that that right there is what I think is is kind of her, her protesting. It's what she does to protest. That right there. Like, in, like she doesn't, she's kind of, she wants to it looks like she wants to head back that way and uh and i'm heading towards this gate and so she's putting up a stink now i was trying to just be super floppy with the reins here see how she's fighting that doesn't want to go that way and she we're, we're spinning see we're spinning but we keep heading back that way all right so now I'm gonna now I'm gonna start to I'm gonna start to just do some serpentines with her like real so this is where I have my hands have to get right up in the front here because I'm gonna be switching directions with her. Now just trying to bump her. You know. I'm using my body, I'm steering with my body, but I gotta also direct her head a little bit. Whoop. So I'm just gonna work her a little bit. She, you know, she wants to get energetic about this. We're well, gonna get energetic. See, she's blowing out. So that's a, you know, a lot of times the best thing you can do with a horse is to, is to move their, you know, get them moving, get some of the, rid of some of that energy that they have, that nervous energy, you know. Okay, here you go, girl. Here we go. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, she's going really fast. It's like she's, uh, <laughs> she's, uh, Easy girl, easy. Yeah, she didn't want to go through here. All right, so she's putting up like a little bit of a stink. And who knows, I don't know. I remember this uh, a few years ago when we were started riding some of these horses on, on away from the barn and stuff. And uh, we get to this, we get up to, we get up approaching the house and uh, there was this, there's this pond there. It's like a frog pond, you know? And uh, 
The horses act like they're, like she's acting like she's afraid, you know? They're acting like they're all afraid, right? And I'm thinking like, what are they afraid of? You know, we're looking around, we're looking around, we're looking around. And you know what, I came to the conclusion that that was the, that was the border or the, um, it was like the bubble, their bubble where they thought once they went through that, they were no longer tethered to their horse buddies or the barn or whatever. And so it was just, it was like we're at the outskirts of the bubble. And once you pop that bubble and you walk through it, they were just fine. And here, you know, you think, and you're thinking, oh, it looks like they're afraid of something. And in reality, they weren't afraid of anything. They just were, it was their way of putting up resistance to doing that. They didn't want to go that way. And that's what I was saying just before there with, by that gate. I think that's what she's doing there. You could see how she was jumping from side to side and stuff. And I just did start doing the serpentines with her. And uh, see how she's still, she's still looking to the right, which is towards the barn. So sometimes it's, sometimes you just, you misinterpret what's going on, you know? And, but like I was saying to Eric today is, but a lot of times the correction or what you would do to correct it is the same as what you do, you know? If you had, like, like for instance, if it was, they're just giving you resistance, what would you do, you know? You'd, you'd move them and, you know, uh, get them moving and, and direct them and get them thinking about you. And if, and if they're worried about something, what do you do? You get them moving, you get them concentrating on you, you know? So it's kind of the same sort of thing. Sometimes you don't need to really, really know why they're doing something like see how she, she keeps wanting to head up that way i'm not taking her that way i'm gonna take her back this way here yeah eric was we were talking to he said i should i really gotta take her out away from the farm to another location and see how she acts because he goes a lot of this could just completely go away. It could just be all associated with, you know, strong bond with her herd mates and stuff like that. You know. See so yeah, how she's she's actually calming down right now. But it, see how her ears are looking forward. They're not coming back there. They came back to me just a little bit. Now I'm gonna lift up. I'm gonna put a little leg on her. See if I can bring her back to me. Watch her head. There, she dropped. So I'm gonna do it again. There, dropped, good. See, so I just gotta get it, like I gotta build up her concentration on me like that for longer periods of time. Come on, drop your head. Got my legs on her. Picking up just a little bit, there. Good. All this lush grass right now. Isn't that right? Gosh, a beautiful day. I hope you like these videos. I like making them. Uh, uh, my brother-in-law said I need to uh, come up with a phrase or something I say every time. <laughs> uh, I can't think of anything other than tell you about what we're doing here. You know, like I say, we breed, raise, and train walking horses to be good riding horses from the ground up. I'd say trail horses and stuff like that. I really need, I think really, I think people have their wrong idea about trail horses. If I were to put levels of stableness and training and everything. I think ranch horse, trail horse, then arena horses. A good trail horse, and one that knows something. I'm not talking about someone that someone's stealing a ride on. Those horses have to know all sorts of stuff. And uh, uh, 
So that's what we're doing. We're trying to get really good riding horses that know, that know, that have know a lot of cues and are relaxed and you know all that kind of stuff and good-minded in the breeding and all that and sound and and it takes a long time. It takes a long time and unfortunately people with trail horses they just lump any horse into a trail horse. If you can put a saddle on it they'd say it'd make a good trail horse and uh, and uh, there's a lot of people out there uh, stealing rides on them and what I mean by that is uh, people are out there where the horse doesn't have a good foundation doesn't you know and they're just being very fortunate that they're not in the ICU right and uh, you know you got to get the horses uh, to really um, know the cues and and be able to be relaxed and and this all takes a long time uh, a lot of riding with the horses and then you as a rider you as a rider you have to you have to be uh, dedicated yourself to get your own skill up there you know it's a beautiful day hear the birds calling we usually jump deer and turkey <laughs> Yeah, first time you jump a turkey on a horse, that's a that's an eye opener. There you go. All right, well, I'm gonna keep working with her, keep training her, keep riding her. Uh, thanks for joining me. Have a good day. Thanks for watching. Should people subscribe? They should. <laughs> hey, smash that like button and subscribe. Hit that notification bell. Thanks for watching.